Turkish weddings in rural areas last for days and have unique customs that might seem unusual to outsiders. Here are some lesser-known Turkish wedding traditions. The henna or kina night, occurring a week or two before the wedding, features the bride in a red gown, later changed to a traditional bindali. The ceremony, led by an elder, involves single women circling the bride and singing to make her cry. Once tears fall, the ceremony continues, with a senior family member applying henna to her palm after the mother-in-law places a gold coin for luck. This henna night symbolizes lasting love and protection. The bride's journey from her home to the groom's is a public event. Guests walk or drive, often with music. In some areas, the groom can't follow. Before leaving, the bride's relative ties a maidenhood belt around her waist, usually red. She says goodbye, and sometimes a family member playfully blocks the entrance. To ensure she doesn't leave, the bride or a younger brother sits on the dowry box. The groom's family helps overcome this final obstacle, allowing her to leave her parents' house. During the groom's formal visit to the bride's family to propose, traditional Turkish coffee is served. Interestingly, the bride offers sweet coffee to everyone except the groom. She prepares his coffee with salt, and he drinks it without any reaction, symbolizing his love and willingness to tolerate anything from his future wife. Following this, the groom presents a modest engagement gift, often consisting of flowers and a simple ring. The official wedding typically takes place at the registry office, but the registrar can come to the wedding venue if desired. After the ceremony, the bride and groom line up at the registry office to receive congratulations and gifts, often in the form of money and gold. There's a playful tradition where they try to step on each other's feet, and the one who succeeds is said to have the last word in their marriage. Before her wedding, the bride writes her single friend's names on her shoe's sole, or her single friends can sign the shoe. The first name to rub off after dancing predicts the next marriage. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.